Welcome back everybody. Um, today I'm going to do some clutch adjusting on my tractor here, my uh, Ford 1710, um, because this is how much free play I've got now. So a good amount of this free play is in the linkage. Um, which I'm going to address later. Um, you can see there, there's a good amount there. Um, I'm gonna get to that eventually sometime. But for now, I'm going to just adjust the pedal accordingly to how it is now. So to adjust this clutch pedal, you'll want to grab this rod here, loosen this jam nut here, and twist this and make this shorter. And what that will do is get rid of some of the slack or some of the slop in the pedal. And uh, you'll loosen this, this is a 17 millimeter. So I'll loosen this up and I'll spin this and uh, see how it is. Twist this in a little bit. Jam it down, see how it is. So now I've adjusted it and not put it back together yet fully. And you can see that I've done it a little too far you don't want the clutch riding on the throttle bearing. Uh, you can see here, the manual calls for about an inch of free play. And that's a little less than an inch, so I'm gonna back that off a little bit and uh, see how it is. So now I backed it off a few threads. Um, this is the, three, the free play we have now. That's about an inch, I would say. Let me feel it. So basically what I was able to do was make this a little bit smaller, this rod here. And you can see the difference on the clutch pedal. Now it sits much higher and has about that much play, which is within spec, uh, three quarters of an inch to about one and three eighths is what the manual specifies. So that, that's good. And I have a little bit of, it's not exactly touching the bearing, the throat bearing inside there. I have a little bit of movement there before it engages. So, That's basically everything you need to know for a Ford 1710 or similar tractor when adjusting the clutch. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.